Public transport in many African cities often includes piling into minibuses and heading into traffic jams. Now, Ethiopia's capital, Addis Ababa, has just opened the first metro system in sub-Saharan Africa. In 2007, the government of Ethiopia looked into the transport sector. It came up with the idea that maybe we need an alternative land transport. And railway was considered as one option. Construction began in 2012 with a price tag of $475 million. Most of the funding came from China's Exim Bank. Betru says the benefits have made the project well worth the cost. The light rail is not the commercial business. It's a social infrastructure. It's also not very expensive. The longest you go, you pay nothing more than maybe 30 US cents. We think it's reliable. You can you know, time yourself to go anywhere you want to go. So uh, the combined effect will give an added value to the city of Odisha. The train line opened mid-September this year and currently has two lines linking four corners of the city. The Transport Ministry hopes it will attract more and more riders. We have a first phase of the project that is from north to south of the city and from east to the west of the city, which is carrying more than 60,000 people per day. This railway is going to transport more than 100,000 people per day. So this is a big change in the transportation of this country. The terminal station. But what about minibus drivers who depend on commuters to make a living? We have a plan to work with the minibuses. We are not in what is called a you know, big competition. We were more of complementary. Yared Tesfaye, who chairs the organization for minibuses, agrees. In Addis Ababa, there's a population of 4 million people, of which 3.5 million are minibus taxi users. The train is expected to transport around 1.5 million people. We taxi drivers will probably transport the remaining. With Addis Ababa set to expand its rail system in the coming years, Gebayu is optimistic about the future. Ethiopia is one of the fastest growing economy in Africa and in the world for uh, growth and for development. And the issue of transportation is a crucial one. If at all one country is going to be developing this infrastructure and transportation should lead that development. That's what we are making in this country.